Are you coming, Harrison? Y yes. Isn't the water too cold? <laughs> oh, come on, Harry. You can hug me to warm up a little bit. So, are you done staring so that we can dive in? I, 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 I wasn't staring. I was just looking at the water. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Maybe you can feel the pressure that I've been living on. But you say that it's been on my mind, but I'm moving along. So, charging a car. Do you see what those two are doing? Yo, is this Harrison? Mr. I sleep with your crush from school? Man, let's teach this pretty boy a lesson. <laughs> Me and your father are very disappointed in you guys. We are very sorry. We promise it won't happen again. We specifically asked you guys not to sneak out, and you went ahead and betrayed our trust. Dad, Harrison's house is literally on the block. It's a matter of morality. You broke a promise. Charles, you should have set an example for your sister. Mom, we are literally the same age. Technically, I'm a few seconds older. Enough. I, I, g g go to your rooms. Dad, we're 18. You heard him. Talk to you later, bro. Sure, sis. Hey. Well, good evening, mister. Greetings, ma'am. What are you doing on such a wonderful autumn night? I was occupied by something else, but now I'm talking to a very handsome gentleman. Oh, what if your parents find out about our affair? You wouldn't let something like this happen, would you? What did you have for dinner? Well, I was hoping for a handsome gentleman, but I guess meat and cooked steak to the trick. <laughs> Oh, Charles, my parents are calling for me. See you tomorrow at school? See ya. You so have a crush on her. What? No, we're very close friends. That would totally ruin it. Are you sure about that, brother? Mmm, yep, 100%. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me know if you need any girlish advice when you realize the obvious. <laughs> sure, like I'll get adequate relationship advice from you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, your relationship with Thomas didn't really flourish. <sighs> that was two years ago. Charles, let it go! Well, hypothetically, if I like her, should I ask her out? If we just assume you like her, go for it! What if she doesn't like me back? We're so close, I feel like that would ruin our friendship. Well, sometimes you have to live for the moment. Good night, Charles.
Oh no! Huh? Is everything okay? Please tell me you're choking! Where are our clothes? Wait, what? What are we gonna do? Okay, we'll just run to the nearest house and grab some clothes. Easy for you to say. You're a boy. The whole school is drooling over you. Man up. Or woman up, I guess. Anyways, nobody cares. We'll sprint. It's late at night. Nobody will see us. I can't believe it. If anyone finds out, we're so dead. <laughs> Am I seeing this right? Is the dry martini getting to me or was that Blair running naked with a boy? What? Are you crazy? How do I explain this to your parents? Okay, don't worry. No one should be home. You can wait here in the living room, and I'll go get you some clothes. Wait here? Naked in the middle of your house? No way! I'm coming with you! In my room? No way! I'll grab some of my dad's clothes and be right back. Oh, hi, honey. Who are you? James, call the police. There's a naked boy in our living room. Please, don't call anyone. I can explain. Where's Blair? Mom, Dad, stop it. This is my boyfriend. We were swimming in the nearby lake and someone took our clothes. It was all my idea. So that's the reason this poor boy is sitting naked in the middle of our house. Pretty much. Okay, you guys deal with this situation. I will prepare some dinner. Mr. Sausage can say too, if he pleases. <laughs> Thanks for the hospitality, guys. Now, can I get some cloves, please? Thank you so much for the wonderful dinner and everything, but I gotta go. You can keep the shirt, by the way. <laughs> okay, I think you've bullied him enough for the night. Harrison, I'll walk you out. Thanks, Blair. Blair, can I ask you a question? But please be honest with me. Sure. Go on. Earlier, you referred to me as my boyfriend in front of your parents. Does that mean... Oh, well, I needed to be convincing, you know? And you're sure you didn't mean it? No, no but I, I mean it kind of just slipped out of my mouth. Just shut up and come here, you little liar. Hey Harrison, check this out. I borrowed my dad's truck. Need a lift? Thomas, if only you knew what you interrupted. <laughs> Harry, it's okay. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Y yeah, sure. Excuse me, I'm here to call Henry to the principal's office. Please come with me. Oh wait, what have I done wrong? Keep it in your pants, stripper. <laughs> Keep that attitude up and you'll follow him to the principal's office.
May I come with? After all, I'm a student council member. Actually, let me escort him. Thank you. Report back to me after you've taken him to the principal. I'll be with class 3B. Don't worry, Henry. I have your back. Hello, please take a seat. Good morning. Is there any particular reason for me to be here? Actually, there is a very valid reason for your presence in my office. Word is out that you have a rather inappropriate job. I beg your pardon, but I don't know where that assumption came from. Do your parents know about this? They have nothing to know about. They're actually currently overseas on business duty, but you could get in contact with them if you wish. I will save them the embarrassment. This is supposed to be a prestigious institution. You are dismissed. You better hope that the expulsion committee has mercy on you this Friday. What? I'm threatened with expulsion? On what grounds? You are free to go, Henry. Now. Oh, good morning, George. What brings you here? Good morning. I want to talk to you regarding Henry's expulsion. Yo, Henry? What's the matter? What's the matter? Wow. What's wrong with you? Henry, calm down! Tell us what happened! This should teach Thomas to keep his mouth shut! Keep my mouth shut about what? Oh, come on! Don't act foolish! I know you spread the rumors about me being a stripper! Do you know what you caused? I'm getting expelled! What? You're a stripper? That's besides the point! Let's take a moment to think. Thomas would never do anything to you. He's the one who included you in the friend group. Henry, keep it down. Nobody's getting expelled. I managed to talk to the principal out of it. What? Yes. Now let's clean this mess before it brings any more attention to you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll fix your motorcycle. Weird. Where did they go? Weird. She was also absent from school today. Hey, dude. What's up? I'm looking for Virginia. Have you seen her around? Nah, man. I didn't catch her at school today either. Weird. Where could they go in the middle of the week? I don't know. Hey, Charles. Can I talk to you about something? Of course. What's on your mind? Well, whoo boy. How do I put this? Just rip the band-aid straight off. I'm all ears. Okay. So, I kinda have a crush on Blair. Oh, kinda? What am I talking about? I'm head over heels for her. Ah, I knew it! It was so obvious! Really? <laughs> well, she is literally the best girl I've ever had. Don't let the other 50 hear you. Hey, I'm not that easy. Okay, maybe I am. That's besides the point. 
I don't know how to act around Blair. I'm usually smooth, but around her I'm always worried that I'll make a bad impression or something. Heck, I don't even know whether she likes me. Has she given any signs of affection for you? Hmm. Well, last night after we went skinny dipping, we almost kissed- What?! She took you skinny dipping and you're wondering whether she's into you?! <laughs> so, what do you suggest? I don't want to mess things up between us. I suggest you go with the flow. Seems to me she's got you on a leash. What? A guy like me? On a leash? No way. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm so happy for you. You deserve the best. So do you, mate. Now, why were you looking for Virginia? That's not a topic for today. <laughs>